that. Okay, guys, so Tams for puzzle is up. Now we are going to play rapid games with annotations and with explanations. I'm going to play 10 minutes games and I will try and explain things through other way. I'm playing slowly and yeah, time to learn, right? Time to learn, time to learn, 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 yeah, learn. So when you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will try and go slow and try and like, show you how to think properly and how to, you know, like make up a plan or simply where to start an attack throughout the game. Let's go, right? One, okay, let's go to first game. Go. One moment, one moment, let me try to change my custom challenges. One moment here. Done. Queen's commit, okay, fine, so the first game. Depends on my opponent. And strangely, I don't have anyone right now. Okay, here, meet the first guy from Malaysia. Picasso Wei Kuyan. Picasso. Picasso? Ooh, a nice name. Well, probably not. So now, what should I play in the first game? C6, right? So C5, what do you want to? Okay, so sure, I will play for you flimpy of this game. This is called French Variation. I have been playing French, I mean, like for a few years ago when I was younger, now I'm not. But this is still something can be played, although sometimes quite passive. 400 with Duchess TV? Really? I mean, this is very rare for me. Normally, only 40. <laughs> 40. D5. Let's go, French. Depends on what he's trying to do. Normally he can go nice c3 or e5 or e5 here as well. But here so e5 should be the best move. Or nice c3 as well. E5. So we go for advanced variation. Why did you choose a French? Well, simply Flimpelt told me to play French. So I just trying to place some of my viewers, that's all. E5. He go for advanced variation. So for the French players. One thing you should always remember right here is to push c5. Trying to fight for the center. And also, a few years ago, well, a few years ago I just wanted to play for some solid position. And I mean, like, at that time I'm still not like this. I am the guy who simply want to play, you know, very, very logical and the main variation, main line. But right now, I'm um, other one. I'm playing something more upbeat. I mean, a few years ago, I really, like, I learned in depth the couple variation in the French. I will tell you later. Knight A3. This one seems strange. I mean, this is strange to me. Trying to develop the knight to the rear. Okay, so this seems a strange move. I don't see a clear plan. So now, black just keep on developing normally. Nice c6. Attacking this pawn. Also, looking at this d4 squares. Well, my gambit? I don't know. I don't know should I do that or not. This is not a good idea. We should be 5 penis. Pin, pin. That can be plenty of way for you to improve and to develop. The thing about French that most of the guys should understand is that normally if I play the advanced variation, it's not that easy for you to develop the king side, right? Like this. So now should be seven, so it blocked the way for the knight to, to defend. I mean to develop. Knight seven, so it temporarily blocked the bishop. So the question about the French is always like, how can you start developing? In this game, I will develop in a normal way. Knight g7. Normally, in a lot of French position, like you look on knight 6 But this game, I will play this, since I feel this is pretty good. And why I want to play this? Since right now, I can play a6. 
get this mission away. And then, if you take so take on the night. So suddenly, my pieces stand harmoniously. Right? This is my aim. I will try to, you know, talk more about the French later. And the reason why French has becoming quite outdated. At least through, I mean, at least till the beginning of this year, when Nepal Nashi started to use that in the candidate. And Bishop G5 is a really bad move. A really bad move. Also, although, although I want, I know that he wants to go this, to kick my queen away, to develop with tempo. I know. But this just left a very. No! No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't mean that! Yeah, Queen Miss is winning! Yeah, Queen Miss is winning! With the idea of this and this. <laughs> I tell you today, it's my unlucky day. This is very unlucky. <laughs> okay, so... Now time. Now time for the... Swindle's lessons. Swindle's lessons. Well, this guy, I, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. Yeah, now it's what the those lessons time. No, I mean like I want to play Queen B6. It's just a master. I just want to, you know, right click on this bishop and tell you why this is bad. I like Queen B6. And now taking both here and here and winning, winning right away. And then, you know, something happened. Well, I told you earlier, I am only a bad guy who is only 1600 trying to climb the repeat rating. Yes. Okay, so now time for swindling lessons. Okay, so now at least we got a pawn and a bishop for the queen. And we got a very strong bishop pair here. Okay, so it is still losing for sure. But we can play for the swindles for sure. Yeah, let's play for the swindles. This knight is pretty bad as well. Maybe some right side to look. To look at. Although obviously it's not good for me. But I mean, okay. This is life. And we have already committed mistake. But forget about that. We need to look at the right side and trying to keep playing. Okay, queen h5. What is the idea of this move? He want to, I think, prevent me from castling here. Also, we want to, like, it's this knight. So, I'm gonna g6 first. Trying to play safe, safety and safely as well. I mean, like, when you're down with Terio, so the best thing you should do is trying to retain, like, a lot of material on the, on the board. Oh, this thing is pretty strange, I mean, getting a pawn, but I mean like, so his queen needs to stay here for defending the knight. Also, not that easy for him to get it out, since my knight here defending this rook, so no more move for him to run. He want to be ready, but this thing doesn't seem to be good. Not simply, yeah sure, so you want, if you want to. I mean like, I don't, th I think I still will still prevail at the end, but if you want to. You can try position. This thing depends on you. I'm trying to show you how to swing those even though you're misplaying the position a lot. Castling. I want to play in this since I want to start attacking this 9 s 7 and we make some material. Look, 81. Okay, so now what should I do? Let's try and play this here first. Try and get the bishop to these strong squares, and I can be ready to open the diagonal in a few moves. I guess so. Now even knife it can be a move. This is strong. C4. This is pretty good. Pretty good move by him. Why? Since right now I can't play. I can't play. D4 with the idea of queen C5. Right? I can go knife it. I see knife it for sure. To take back the pieces, but. I want to put the knight there since I see some strong ideas coming through. That's why I just want to keep want to stay my knight on that square. That's why. Let's play this move, bishop d6. Mm -hmm. I want to go for knight 4 To some attacking on the h5 right now. I want to go for some attack. On the on down material. 
So this here, this here, so I'm taking the pawn. It's better. Queen d5, queen d5, queen d5, queen d5. Queen d5, go, 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 queen d5. I believe you. Queen d5 is good. Queen d5. I'm king be at first. Okay, run. It's queen d5 still, still, still. Queen d5, and you are a genius. Queen d5, and you are a genius. Queen d5, go, go, go. Queen d5, and this guy's a genius. The free pawn, right? Free pawn. Queen d5, and you are a genius. Go, queen d5, go, 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 go. No, no, no. Plus, 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 plus. Queen d5 is a genius. I love you, I love you. Oh, this guy sees my truths, my ideas. Okay, fine, obviously. Queen d5, which is too. And here comes the. But still, not so good. Knight 4. Starting my attack. Knight 4. And now I'm attacking this queen. Also, I want to play h7 and knight 2. So now, time for some really swindles this time. You have three? Okay, so I'm taking back the, the knight. So now he's only one point up in the material. Not so far away, surely. Not so far away. 94. What is this? Okay, now, so I'll just see what he's going to play next. Maybe knight f5. I want to go for h2, actually. But can you still? Knight 2 and g3. No, it's not working, actually. Open up the diagonal, it's still early right now. Let's play slowly first, I think so. I have no rush to... Okay, but I think I wanna play this. Since I can see he can play g3, but the defensive ideas, so playing this to stop him from playing g3. h3 first, and then after h3, he cannot play in g3 easily. This is my idea. This guy is still good shot. This guy is not losing right away. He's still playing good at this moment. His move makes some sense. So let's see. But at least right now, my, I got a very safe king and beat. That can be good for me at some point. Yeah, I take the pawn. A7 is ready. I mean, he can do some other thing trying to develop and trying to get his pieces back to the game. But instead, he take the pawn. A7. That's a bit ready. Knight e2, this one, this one is damn good actually. It's changing my knight. I for, I miss, actually I missed that. I forget about this. I should have played rook or something. Okay, so now as I told you earlier, although I know I would drop my pawn d5, this is a, this is a mess. I mean, I just doesn't want to changing everything. If I changing everything, so I don't have any pieces to play. So I will try and sacrificing the pawn. For that. Still still losing surely. He's still losing if you play correctly. But now this is, is much more difficult for him to convert. <coughs> Queen a5 attacking my rook. So now how can I try to bring my rook more active and attack his queen? Yes. Rook h5. My knight is still warding this queen. No resist rook. So now rook h5 with another tempo and I bring the rook up. Starting attack. Right? Queen a4. Rook d5. It's time for rook d2. And now time for some really strong attack. Now my turn to attack. Rook d2 is my aim for first. Rook d4 first or rook d2? Both seems pretty good. I want to go rook d2. Taking the pawn here. And a4 rook d4 should be good for me. I guess so. both these things it's still not that obviously I'm not winning but it will make him some headache Queen c2 defending both of these is the move crudely we should have four attacking the rook here probably this is still not winning for sure I need to fight a long time to obtain something different I got a plan. I don't know if this works, but no. Let's play simply first. Rook d5. Why I'm playing this? I see you want to play nice. You five to exchanging material. 
some plain text. In order to stop the exchanging threat by him. My rook is still controlling the d5, so I can always think in my rook d2. I tell you like this. And obtaining a really good attack on the default. Also, don't forget to see that I own sometimes I have some meeting idea in the back rank. That's all. Very important as well. Queen b3. What is this? Okay, so understandable. I'm sure you do. Damned, just misplay, and then now uh, we become real hard swindling lessons. Jeez. Someone needs to attack with the knight. Yeah, this plan is basic. I want to play basic plan, but somehow I mouse laps. And then, you know, now it is not, it's not, now it is not basic anymore. I will tell you about how to, you know, how to swing those in general after this game. There are a lot of things to talk through this game for sure. Just wait for me for a minute. Hello, hello, man. Hello, 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 hello. So for you guys today here, so I'm sorry for a really bad play, bad performances. I mean, make some really funny move and doesn't go anywhere. Rd5, let's again defend against this. Now my idea consists of should be 6 attacking this point at 2. Hello for some thanks guys for the follow appreciate. We are crossing forty five hundred followers pretty soon. G three, this is a very good move to defend against this diagonal array. This is the main idea of the game. No, it's not working. I mean, I want to do that. Oh hi, small. No no no. I'm sorry. Hi Kimi. Hi Kimi. Thanks for four months. I really appreciate. Christopher, boom! <clears throat> yes! Yes! Boom! Now I'm surviving against a 1400. Whoo! <clears throat> Cave on the fox. Okay, guys. So now time for something really, really, this is coalescence. It's correct. <clears throat> when you see something good, let's try something better. It is pretty sure that we want to go 92, right? Go 92. The queen and the knight and the rook and the king are in the same way to attack. So now knight one can be winning move, but I will play something stronger. F5. Kick this knight away first before going to an attack. Win a knight and I want to retain my knight for some attacking chances. Then obviously I need to be faster if I don't want to be flat. Yeah, just play it. Okay, so I will try and play the final part of the game fast. And then trying to explain things quick. After... <laughs> Why I'm laugh laughing that? <laughs> like, really, really <laughs> scary laughing for me. Yeah, evil laughter actually. Now simply rd2 and winning material. This one now is now this is become basic and elementary. Whatever it is, now rd3 is going. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Boom shakalaka. What a second, what is that song? That is so famous to me. Oh no 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 no. We need to be careful not to Yeah now let's on the king six. It should be a drone. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Wait a minute, wait a minute, one minute. Yeah. This song by Big Bang, yeah, Fantastic Baby. <sighs> Why 
What are you doing, Kimmy? I want to go for some... I want to go for some... Instructive lessons. You tell me to go for stimmet? What are you doing? I mean, obviously, it can be stimmet at the end. <laughs> okay, so... Let's stop, let's... Let's stop the... Let's stop the... Let's stop... <coughs> the prison and give the result i think a lot of guys can win the point right actually not actually not fun i mean not fun for me actually wow thirty-five thousand points what a second someone voting 19 no no eighteen thousand points from me losing come on i need to face you right now someone please Who's voting for me like 18,000 points? Bet that I'm losing again for 1,400? Guys, I need to see you. Really? I know, I know, I see your name here. But who believed that I will lose again 1,400 person? Guys, I'm my heart's broken right now. My heart's really broken. Really broken, actually. Oh, I try my best to please you guys. Why you do that to me? Oh, this really, really sad. Oh, <laughs> literally crying. I think I, I think do good for you. Why? 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 <laughs> I bet someone must voting for, you know, voting for the like 10, at least 10,000 points. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I need some support right now. I need some support. I need some supports, you know. You, you guys make me so, so heartbroken. I need some support, so oh, wow no. Hell no. Hell no. Okay, no no no. <laughs> Sucking another queen. What do you think? Well, let's go through the game. I'm sorry for that. Obviously, I'm sorry for the Muslims. Pretty unlucky day today, I guess so. E4, E6, let's go to the game again. E6, left 3 D5. This is called the French... I mean, E4, E6. This is called French Foundation. You know, actually, I think you... I think you... Miss... I think you're having the wrong definition about the Butas Gambit. The Butas Gambit is the thing that Butas trying to do when she trying to sacrifice the Queen for free, but she's still winning the game. This is Gambit. I mean, Gambit is the thing that you still won a game. If you don't win a game, it's not Gambit. It's called sacrificing. Let's go through the game again. <laughs> really? Well, maybe I'm better definition. Oh, set to, set to here. And sorry, thanks from Ali for 99 bits. Why is that even 100? Well, let's keep, keep through. So this is called French Defense. This is, I think, really play, I mean, like, really trendy in something like maybe some decades ago. Right now, it's not. It's not. I think it depends, it depends on the, it depends on the thought, I don't know. I mean like, I still need to get the final gym norm, so I need to keep improving. And you know, some guys should love playing chess. I think right now she just loves to play games or some different things. And her viewer appreciate that. No worries at all, right? And guys, I will be back in a few seconds. I need to remove my hoodie right now. It's just becoming hotter actually. One moment.
Look at here. Ah, ah, sorry. Well, I just took out the hoodie out. This is when I should after laughing and after you know playing in pressure. It's been pretty hot actually. It's been pretty hot. Let's go through. <clears throat> Yeah, obviously there are like exceptions to every rule, but I mean like the exceptions you can learn when you're better, when you, I mean like, obviously that is the thing that chess is becoming so hard, and it's not easy for everyone to learn chess and becoming better. Okay, so let's keep going through. Obviously, not a good game, but still. <laughs> well, some duck magician, well... So you guys, I mean, like some guys know about Juzio. Yeah, Juzio, I think so. <clears throat> I mean, like I have been quite, I mean, reading that comic quite a long time ago to play again, like the white eyes, yeah, white eyes, blue dragon. <laughs> Jeez, you forget that. <clears throat> this is going to French. Let's keep talking. So e4 e6. This is the French and this is quite famous and popular a few decades ago. But up to this year, it's no, it is losing its strength. Why? First of all, this is considered to be quite passive. And for some guys, <coughs> for some guys who simply, I mean, who simply, I mean doesn't love the passivity that happens in a lot of French games you don't want to play this I think most of the people don't want to defend they want to go for some IT positions like Sicilian or maybe even Karakhan or some stuff so it should be better that thing is solid but this thing is a bit passive and there are even some positions that you need to know really deeply and also, there are some variations that you will land into a slightly worse position when you are, like, positionally slightly worse. D45, obviously the main plan. I mean, a few years ago, why I playing this? Since I, a few years ago, I was a fan of the, this line, of this line. I see 3, I see before. This is called whenever. If I see 5, this is very tricky and actually... If white play greatly, white slightly better. The two experts against this, the French, like who play really good for white, is MVL and Masao Fabiano Caruana. I think I told you guys yesterday, right? <coughs> well, the white bishop is blocked. This is correct, but you know, in the, the this position, so you know, actually there are some lines that this is blocked forever. But there are also, you know, if you want to play correctly, you can also play b6 and get to here, or you might even play f6 in the future. Depends on what your, um, depends on what your opponent play, for sure. <coughs> but most of the time, this is something that leads to quite a bit passive position, and requires, I mean, like really deep theory for black. And thanks upwork for the two months subs. Suck another queen, jeez. I mean, like, I just want to play for instructive lessons. I don't want to play for content, actually. The first one is really, actually, like, a must lives. So in the game, let's go to the game. Knight 3, d5. e5, c5. Knight e3. This thing is dubious. This thing is dubious. Why? Why? Yeah, MVL always plays C the Nidrov. You know, he's, like, huge and the biggest expert in slide. Why well, this is a bad move? Since, you know, moving the knight away from the center first. Second, it's not much thing to do in a3. Right? So I think the idea would c3, and normally the idea here is c3 and d4, trying to get a strong center and trying to get. Okay, so knight c3. Why? Simply, you know, this is the thing that happened when your pawn is so, like, far advanced. Early in the game, it needs to be protected. It needs to be protected. 
by other pieces. Normally, black should try to go to this or this and this, attacking this pawn right away. So normally, c3 and d4 should be played to get a firm, I mean like a firm pawn chain, and also defending the e5 pawn. This is the normal plan in advanced variation when you push e5. <coughs> That's all. Now e3, slightly strange. Let's see six. Simply trying to improve the knight toward the center and attacking e5 pawns. Right now, I mean, like c3, d4 should still be play. Actually, 1800 in six months is pretty good. But actually, I mean, like right now, there are a lot of streamers that can teach chess. I mean, we can watch Daniel, yeah, Daniel speedrun, like non stop. He really provides a lot of good material there. Also, sometimes you, you can watch me, although you can see most of the time I'm playing shittily. <laughs> and there can be another streamers who can provide really good and in, yeah, interesting and also instructive lessons. Well, and if she, I mean, that's why Dubov got invited in a lot of events. Simply, his style is really, I mean, interesting, and he's the guy that never go for quick drawn. You know, sometimes the player, like sometimes the biggest player, like the top player, they just like play each other a lot of time, so they just want quick, went for quick drawn, quick drawn. But Dubov is not the same thing. He always trying to play like fighting spirit, and he always searching for some you know fighting chances. That's why this game is really fun to watch. Yeah, one from Blunder. You know, bad guy. I told you much time. This is one of the reasons why I don't know why I am not invited to the I not so GM. Obviously, I'm the bad guy. Not a strong, not a strong player as well. Let's go through the game. It should be five. Nine is seven. So tell you in the game. So right now, right now my ideas go for if like now if like a six, so he can take here and he can take here. So now on, although this is still fine for me, I get a good pawn in the center, but it is quite not easy to develop my king side. So I will knight seven first, not only developing the knight, but also on the a six next. That if you take here, we'll take with the knight. You understand? That's why I play this. Knight seven. So d4 and playing the game. I think you should play c3 first. Knight seven. Okay, d4 takes, takes, takes. DC5, this one is really bad. I mean, normally in the French, I think if it's not frosting, why to never go for this pawn exchange? Why? Simply, you can see here. It gives black a very strong bishop on c5. Also, this pawn becoming a target to attack. Right? So normally people do not play dc5 so early in the game. You can this is only move it. But you can stop this moment to see the position. That's simply black is better. Why? He got a good position, he got a bishop pair. Also, this pawn is a to get to attack. And now bishop g5 is a really bad move right now for white. Really bad move. Although it seems that we want to attack the queen and actually he succeed in the game. But this is not a good move. Why? Since right now... Uh, what do you mean? LSB? Win what? Right now you got a very strong move. Queen b6, yes. Queen b6. And now simply you're attacking both f2 and b2. And due to the very bad position of the 9 a3, when you success on the succeed on succeed in taking in b2, you can be winning right away. Let's move, last move, when? I mean like queen a5 simply c3. And this knight is still holding the bishop. So queen a5 is not a move right here. This can be an idea when you can see this check to taking like to threatening this bishop on b5, but now this knight is still warning that. So this makes no sense, right? You understand? 
This light square bishop seems to be bad, but you know it gap it have a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. You can try and go b5, bishop b7, and trying to you know open up this di diagonal pretty soon. Also, you can even try and go b4, a5, and bishop a6. This one seems to have a lot of potential, especially you know the position is quite open, and the light square bishop of white simply disappear. You understand? No, so, this is completely good for us. King Castling so queen b2, and now I think we're close to winning. How can he defend the knight on a3? Knight b1, queen a1 is deadly. And how to defend this knight? No way. Right? No way to defend this knight. Obviously, the game continuation is like really shitty. This is very unfortunate as well. I don't want to go for this. Simply, you know, smash up. So forget about that. So now, you know, I would try to tell you about how to, you know, converting extra material or simply how to keep swindling and how to try to keep having chances to stay on the game. First of all, it's about psychological things. You know, like some guys who made a blunder and recognize that it's a huge blunder will easily to get mauled, get angry at himself. And then it's hard to focus on the final part of the game. And he, after he made the blunder, he simply made every bad move. And then he lost the game pretty easy. Right? So one thing I need to tell you is that when you're already making mistakes, forgetting about that, simply you can blame yourself at home. You can even try and move yourself or even slap yourself like this at home. But when you're still playing, so obviously no one want to lose the game, right? So just keep on playing and forget about your mistakes. Try and play like a real new game that you're playing from the like first time. Forgetting about what you have been done, what you have doing. Simply playing a whole new game. First thing to do is that. Thinking about psychologically. I mean, if you're still thinking about what you have done earlier, so it's really hard to keep you getting focused at the end of the game, at some next phase of the game. So simply forget about that and focus on the latter part. You understand? I mean, this is not something about GM or Super AM. This thing is simply about psychological. I mean, like, obviously, obviously, I mean, like, you know, this is not a good thing for sure. But I mean, like, since the Queen's Gambit, Queen's Gambit series, there have been, yeah, there have been a lot of, I mean, a lot of new players playing. And if I was not, mis if I was not mistaken, so the, I mean, like, the average rating of the players right now is only 700, actually. 700. So, you know, at this level, Sometimes you can still try to, still trying to, swindling. Sometimes material is not that, you know. It's obviously it is really important. Sometimes you can even try and have some chances against these players, like me in this game. Since like my, our opponent sometimes, yeah, make a lot of mistakes. And actually, I mean like he didn't convert it well, since he do not have a clear plan. Yeah. He didn't have a clear plan to play. That's why he's losing. I mean the thing is that he doesn't know how to convert the game. Which is what I'm going to tell you right now. And you 5 now you 5 Queen 5 This is still not a mistake. But it is, it, is, it is a start. It is the start of a wrong plan. He go for the pawn here. And actually it's not going anywhere. Right now you see that. Okay so when you are... Up, material. So two things you can try to do. I tell you, much, I think a lot of time is trying to exchanging pieces to liquidate into a winning position, or trying to use the material you up to attacking right now. So normally here, before we want to go for other stuff, it's trying to improve your piece positions first, something like castles, and then bring your knight to a three. From a3 to somewhere better, right? The square is really bad. Something like c3 and c2 or something like that. And then trying to slowly get it out. And then you can attack later. No worries. 
Like, can't do anything. Simply in this game. In this game. White just want to go so fast. And that's why I think... That's why I think he made some mistakes. While trying to convert the game. Just playing slowly. And simply deprive all your opponent's kind of play. And improve all your position, like your pieces position before going to kill your opponent. Queen 5 so hasty. 96. Now it's 7. And this is very bad blunder. I mean, this, this can be called blunder. Why? You can see this. Even before taking a 7, white is still up 5 point on the position, which simply means a rook. Also, he already get a queen against a bishop and a pawn. So, when you're winning a lot of material like that, why just win a pawn? For nothing, I mean, a pawn doing what at this position. Although a pawn is a pawn, but winning the pawn allows your queen to be pinned like this, right? So this is just a bit so ready. Just play slowly, like, okay, castling, or I'm castling here, or trying for c4 to attack, to strike in the center. And c4 right now should be the best, I guess so. I'm mean, castling first. So this guy in the game simply just want for the win so quick. Or probably he thinks that, okay, I'm going to win, whatever it is. A 7. We should be 7. Castling, castling. Rook AD1. Actually, knight effort, as you guys pointed out, is a way to retrip the pieces. This actually, I think, can be the best. I guess so. But I, why I still keep the knight on g6 and don't go for that? First of all, this queen still needs to defend the knight and simply it is tight here. It is tight on h5. It doesn't have much square to go. So just keep it here and simply by doing this. It doing this. Simply, we can try to tight both pieces on h5. And he can do nothing for that. Second, the fs square is a bit passive, right? Although we can win you a knight. It is really a bit passive. So it's not that forcing. You can go, for, I mean like I want to go for some an f4 idea. And you know, in this position, that can be a fav, like really famous mid. I forget about the name. I can change something like this. Maybe knight 4 queen of 7 I'm taking the knight here. So knight 2 king 1 rook 7 Okay, so for instance, if y plays something like c4, <coughs> c4 like that, c4. So now I'm to play. Let's to play right now. What is the end of the game? What is the end of the game right now? Let's play and win. Let's go. Let's to play and win. This is a very, I mean, very important mid pattern you need to know. I think some, I think Henry Sophia is correct. This is called Anastasia mid. Yeah, Anastasia mid. If I was not mistaken, this is the correct name of the sacrifice. Yeah, Anastasia mid. So you guys, when the knights on e2, something like this. Controlling g1 and g3 squares. So be sure to rem remember this meeting pattern. This is rook h2. I mean, if you want to throw your opponent, if you really want to throw your opponent, you can go knight g3, like this. So now king g1 and knight 2 again. And here's a one and rook h2. And the bishop, <laughs> control is g1 squares, which is still matting, but obviously rook 2 is simpler and here and reach it and matting h5 is move this is called Anastasia mid and you guys, I think most of you guys know this one but for you guys that doesn't re know this matting pattern remember this, remember this and this is one of the reasons why I don't play knife it since I see the h5 is open, so in the game, actually, I'm looking for a way to go for that mid. 
we know the pattern, so we will try to make that happen. That's what I'm thinking in the game. You understand me? Am I trying to explain so fast, or this is fine for you? Okay, so, yeah, let's do this again. Let's do this again. If you guys understand me, please type 1. If you guys understand me, this question is really, I mean, typical in my stream. But sometimes I need to, you know, need to make sure that my community understand me. And I feel that my work is simply like something you can try to be feel useful. <coughs> One moment, guys. Back here. <coughs> okay, good. Good, 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 good. One moment. Trying to save my neck first. Done. This is quite hot, actually. But my mom said that if I do this, this is might be harmful for my neck. That's why I just <laughs> wear a scarf. Okay, so obviously, mm. will be one more game after the game. No worries. That's why I'm trying to go for, you know trying to keep improving my position c4 this one's pretty good i mean this one's pretty good i can tell you that this one's pretty good trying to fight for the center and also looking for a way to release and come back tonight why are you wearing a scarf well i just told you earlier i mean like I feel a bit hot, but my mom said that if I doing that, so my neck can be harmful. Especially, it is not that, I mean, it is not that warm. It's pretty cold in my country right now. So she just tell me to, you know, keeping the <coughs> mental strength. <coughs> yeah, throat. <coughs> yeah, throat, actually. I'm sorry. Yeah, they are. I mean, you know, like, I want to cheer for my mom, but <laughs> nothing I can do. Jeez. If I can, I will even try and cheer right now for my mom. But sadly, I cannot share in my own channel. Jeez. Let's come back to the game. We should be six. I go for this. Why? First of all, I'm looking to attack on h2. Second, knight f4, queen f7, and he attacking my knight on f4. That's why I'm trying to play this. Also, right now, I can, although I can even try to go for this one and some attack here on the edge file. But still, I mean, I want to keep a lot of pieces on the board. That's why I simply stall and try to play this. Should be 6. Not only I want to play an f4 and now my bishop guarding the f4 knight, but also I want to stay away from the c file. C file. Then I can try to invade later. Also, I want to. Stay away from this pin as well. That's why I play bishop d6. Right? d6. Takes. Bishop takes. Rook d5. This one is very good. This one actually is a good move. I mean, he understand that. My bishop is so strong. You can see how strong my bishop pair is right now. So knight 4 can be a plan. And now I can be even slightly better. So, although I mean like he just have enough material to go for a sacrifice right here. It makes a lot of sense. Correct. Three five. A good move by him. This here. Obviously, you know, in the game, I just want him to play queen d five so badly. But obviously, queen d five is a bad move. Can you tell me why this is a bad move? Yeah, he's decent, I think. He's decent. Also, a bit greedy. 
and doesn't know a way to, I mean, a converter game, but I think it's still decent. What's you eating? No, oh, just fruit. Just eating fruit. And things that eating fruit doesn't make you becoming less hungry, actually. Okay, sorry, just go through my mom's... Okay, here. Okay, she's here, she's here. Besides me. Yeah, nice, sure. <coughs> this is called Discover Check. Discover Check. Thanks Kongaru for the really kind words. I mean, well, one thing I think one thing that makes me not so famous is that I'm not. I mean, I'm not a uh, yeah like. I don't know what to say. But simply, maybe I'm not U.S. person. Maybe I mean like my the English is not my first language. <coughs> well, I will try and go through this again. Rook c1 actually is not a good move, I mean my king is so bad on c8. So right now I mean like for white, that can be very easy stuff you can do, like g3. g3, not only defending against this diagonal, but also defending against knight 4 And one thing you need to tell you, is that when you're trying to, you know, when you're trying to open up, open a fly square for the king, your king always trying to open with the squares that is not in the same color with your opponent's bishop so h3 is not a good move since the bishop can still attack in h2 so g3 is a good move since it opened a square for the king in g2 and that is the square that the bishop cannot reach right <coughs> well they are good actually Hello, Ashim, Sis Major. Oh, you're really strong. No, I'm not. And do you think you got better during quarantine? Yes, I am. I think I'm, I am slightly better. But just not so sure, like, what is the aspect that I am really better? I don't know. Maybe my speaking skills on my chest or my something else, I'm not so sure. But the only thing I'm pretty sure is that I laugh a lot more <laughs> when I'm streaming. That's all. <coughs> Let's go through again, rook c1, king b8, and let's see to knight 4 And now suddenly I got a winning method. I mean, once again, this game, I mean, when you go, when you want to convert a winning position, before you're trying to do your stuff, always look for what your opponent is doing. I think this is the worst mistakes by my opponent's game. He simply forgetting about most of my ideas. Instead, he just wants to play what he wants, what he wants to do. That's all. That's all. He forget about the profit losses. I mean, it is absolutely clear that I want to go knight four right now. So before trying to switch and trying to maneuver his knight back home, g three, open up the king. And also defending against this and this. It's very useful move, right? Right? I think I will try and skip the final part of the game. Since I think I have told you guys pretty clear in the game already. And my opponent didn't defend correctly. I mean right now I see 4 And when I starting to collect this knight. It's not getting easy anymore. That's why. So I will stop here. I think so. <clears throat> so you guys feel this fine or you guys need some more explanation with this game or I can move to this one I will play this one one more game and then I quit so this is fine for you you understand or you feel this 
are you feel this instructive I mean like be sure to give me some recom like some be sure to asking me questions if you want to if you feel some way you don't understand and well I mean like first of all I'm still not in GM I'm still not in GM and second well as I told you many times I don't think that I am the best guy I don't think I'm the best guy